All right, so I just woke up. I looked through all the windows. The tiny house is somewhere around here, but uh, I haven't found it. Uh, it's not through any of these windows. Um, so this is, again, this is my space. Um, I mean, not mine. It is uh, a communal space. Okay, where are those lights? So this probably goes to there. And the outside. All right, I gotta figure everything out. And there's that. Okay, that's good. All I need is that. I don't need that, actually. Just that. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Maybe both, but... Uh, all right, so... Yeah, that's where I slept just now, last night. And uh, this is like, a, it's just I, the fun room, I think they call it, the playroom. It's um, where they do house concerts. Nice, big, open area. But um, yeah, now I'm going to get my uh, coffee and get started with my day. And here's my stuff. Brought four guitars, one bass, bass, two electric and an acoustic classical acoustic this is you know there's some things in the car but it's what I this is a majority of the possessions I have left in life then I got french press sugar I'm gonna make some coffee all right just filled that up filled this cleaned it a little bit it looks clean Rear, front, high, all right, it's gone. All right, got my Dunkin' Donuts, hazelnut, and uh, I need a mug. I think this nice big mug is good. At least, I mean, it's pink, whatever, I don't give a fuck. It's a drinking thing. Yeah, I'm going to take this motherfucker. I'm going to, I think, two of these puppies. And uh, I'm trying to be super quiet, of course. I'm going to this out. Alright, and then, uh, yeah. Clean that up. Got my 
my first coffee made, half and half, hmm, it's kind of strong and not enough half and half or sugar. Okay, here I am outside of the, um, the, uh, God, what is it called? The, um, it's an arts house. It's a house in a, in a community. This is, um, basically it's a court. Here's the house. So that tiny house is going to, like, be mine uh, coming up in a month or so, I hope. Should be. Oh, there's an outdoor area here, too. Bamboo. So, yeah, that's the front steps up and, right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so here, here I the Wonderland, not Wonderland, Wonderland? I forget what it's called. Um, but yeah. So. I wash my car big time, man. It needs a, it's just so dingy. I was gonna wash it and then I got a flat tire. Let me check my tire that was flat. Good, it's holding air. Yeah, we just, um, it was a 10 hour, 40 minute drive to, um, here. I'm going to walk around the whole house, actually. And, um, wow, all the water's going to the house. Yeah, there's no basement. Yeah, they need some work for sure here. Yeah, so there's a backyard. And I know we can use some of the backyard. It's a little shed. Interesting. Huh. I think that's out. Oh, that's theirs. That's there. So this is out. There's no door here. There's no gate on that side. Ooh, a swing. Nice. Under an, a, probably a white oak tree. Wow, I wonder how long this swing's been here. Wow. I'm definitely going to swing here, but I have got to, um, it's a nice house. I've got to, um, get to Walmart and get lunch, get food get supplies. I need a bunch of stuff. This is my first day in Nashville, Tennessee. I think this is techni technically Henderson, but um, you know, I'm right outside of Nashville, minutes away. So, uh, you know, bad, bad visuals here, but um, my first time driving around in the daytime in the outskirts of uh, Nashville, Tennessee, it's not Hendersonville. It's some other name. Come on, asshole, go. And um, this person's waiting for him. Thank you. And um, heading to Walmart. And uh, Davidson? No. It's a new license plate. I haven't seen many of. Um, so, I, you know, I have to navigate everywhere with my phone. So now I can kind of look and navigate. Um, but, yeah, it kind of can get difficult to take videos. Uh, yeah. Looks beautiful. I checked the fluids in the car. Uh, checked the oil, checked the coolant. Everything looks good. And I'm gonna keep the car hopefully in really, you know, tip-top shape. It's, Tip top as I can. Baps, Shree, what? I don't know. Shree something. Swimwear? I don't know. Uh, Stoner's Glad. So, yeah, we're going on it. I'm giving you a guided tour at the same time as me. Beautiful day, man. I got my flip-flops on. It's gonna be like 
record temperatures tomorrow, or near record, here in whatever this town is, uh, passing Highland Avenue. Wow, that fucking curb gets hit a lot. There's a lot of rubber on it. Um, have to watch out. You know, it's like pass it a bunch of times. I'm probably going to be living where I am for a couple months. Um, Jeep had a skeleton on the front. Ooh, look at that. Taco Bell, baby. I think I may go for Taco Bell. So there, I was thinking Subway and a, and a meatball sub and the cookies. Uh, but maybe Taco Bell. You have arrived. Go park over here, maybe walk wherever I'm going to go. Yeah, here's my first Walmart in, um, nice, um, in Tennessee. I went to, uh, wow, it's fucking crowded. It's a Sunday. Um, I went to a Publix last night. That was my very first stop in Tennessee, ever. Just I'll park on that side. Uh, now I'm gonna... I think there's a fucking subway in Walmart. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, ah, eh, fucking Taco Bell sucks. Ever since they um, got rid of the Mexi Melt, the Mexi Melt was the best. It's fucking great. And they, they, they got rid of it and uh, sucks. Now, the Taco Bell sucks. I don't like the. Um, I don't like their stuff nearly as much. I guess I'll walk into Walmart, see if they have Subway, if they do, great. And if not, I'm gonna get some exercise. I parked a ways away on purpose. And um, I'll head on in. All right, here we go. We're going to Walmart. Yeah, so what am I gonna, so I have to think about, you know, what am I doing I'm a long ways away, man. In terms of short form content versus long form content. Um, you know, all my long form content is sideways. And, um, uh, hold on a second. Looks like Subway's here. And uh, I'm gonna walk in and get a meatball sub. Here's my lunch, or breakfast and lunch. It's almost two o'clock. White chip. I can name it cook it. Can't resist them. Subway. They're fucking great. The best cookies I ever had. They're always great. I recorded it today. This was twelve dollars and eighty-six cents. Not even thirteen dollars for foot long sub. Three cookies. A bag of Doritos. Okay, so I got my Doritos. This is my sandwich. Tuna, <clears throat> cheese, spinach, toma uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, banana peppers, jalapenos. Foot long. So this has always been two meals for me. Half of the bag of Doritos, all three cookies. One half the sandwich, half the Doritos. But I gotta eat it all. I wanna eat it all. I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try. Maybe the other one like a sandwich, like with a fork. I just went and got a fork. I'm going to finish this side with the fork, too. I can't eat all this crap. I can't eat all this food. That's the way I eat most things.
didn't eat a good bit of bread. <clears throat> some jalapenos and some Doritos. I um, I pretty much only eat Doritos here. Pretty much only ever. And a couple times a year, on average, three times a year. This year, been more. <clears throat> but not usually. All right. So it's a standard Walmart. They are the same, I guess, pretty much everywhere. All right. So I'm, I ended up. I'm in the food area, but I'm gonna <clears throat> go into the rest of the store. I need quart bags, gallon bags, uh, sandwich bags, like paper plates, um, cups, you know, uh, disposable cups, like all kinds of little things, paper towels. So I'm gonna start on the other side of the store. But it's a big one. It's all the way. Look at this. What's up with that? Like in the paint department. I'd say that is trash, huh? What do you think? Lazy. Lazy person. Two dollars, two fifty, five bucks, two fifty. Fifty? Three bucks. So I was gonna get the hundred for like five fifty? Five dollars fifty cents? It's just too much money. So that's three bucks, five, whatever. You know, it's, I'm keeping it cheap and realistic. I may never use these fucking 50, but I may. It's the only thing that's not Walmart brand so far. Walmart water, <clears throat> Walmart laundry pods, everything. I really did not want to spend $153 at Walmart, uh, but I got almost everything um, I got all kinds of stuff that's going to hopefully last me a whole month. And, um, and almost everything is great value or whatever it is from Walmart. A couple things are not, but only a few things. All right, adios, Subway. That was a good experience there at this, whatever Walmart this is. Um, he really made a good sandwich. You know, it says tip. I didn't tip. I don't tip. Fucking at Subway or Panera, you know? And, um, but if anybody deserved a tip, that guy did. I just put my car in reverse and it popped backwards, like with pressure. I started to back up. That guy's got a fucking trailer hitch. You know, like he was pushing against me. Let's get his trailer, his uh, license plate. I don't know, everything's good. I got a fucking heat shield. I think that's a heat shield loose on the, um, on the exhaust system. That's usually what that sound is. No big deal, hopefully. There's a lot of like little sports fields and stuff around here. Whatever, interesting things. And there's, I, that was just, you hear that little, oh, uh, little force training bike. Um, seen a couple of them, like adults on like a 65cc little mini bike. Um, he was just in the middle of the road with a helmet on. I, I didn't look if he had a, you know, uh, license plate. But uh, I don't know, I got a lot to learn about this area. All right, I had everything on the floor and on the table, getting organized, uh, got a lot in the fridge. And um, here we go with my first smoothie. So I'm gonna put water in there. Start out with one full thing of water. I don't know why I'm shaking water. So here are my smoothies. So in there is yogurt half, this yogurt. This is a brand new honey. You put some honey in. Brand new uh, raw vinegar. All right, so yeah, a little bit of a uh, raw organic rag vinegar, just a dash. You can. 
really fuck up a smoothie. Then um, nuts, walnuts. And then fruits and vegetables. Typically, I do a mix of um, uh, let's see. So, right here, it's got uh, fruit salad blend peaches, pineapple, red seedless grape, and kiwi. Cut strip, cut strip, shit. Alright, now I'm gonna do some. This is cut, everything's cut, hold on. blend. So I'm gonna run this. vegetables. I'm going to put this whole thing in there. And I think it's done. It'll be good. It'll be very good. I forgot uh, that and it needs a little more water. Smoothie here in Tennessee. One second. One. So I make five at a time, typically. Two. Whoa. Shit. Mm, it's good. When they taste too good, they're too sugary, unfortunately. And uh, <clears throat> I like to have a more vegetable-y, um, half and half. You know, taste, taste adequate. You know, not too, doesn't taste too good. So that it, um, all right, so I got five smoothies, five days worth. I may eat two today because I haven't had one and this will be my third day. Two days I didn't have them, but I'm going to put four or three in the fridge. Probably do three, four in the fridge, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm mostly clean up here. I think I'm going to try and keep that puppy there. And um, got a couple of things in the dryer rack and my stuff. 
So this on the bottom rack, that's mine. Got a rotisserie chicken, olives, pickles, four more smoothies, half and half for coffee, strawberries, cucumbers, <coughs> ham, turkey, cheese, carrots, beets. I just opened up the door. I have not yet walked out. This is my very first time. Oh, we got a little grill. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Um, patio set. Wheelbarrow. Hmm. Cool. Here's the back. Windows. Right, okay, so this goes all the way, oh, I see. Right, I got it. Here's the tiny house that's hopefully gonna be mine in a bit. Man, I just got bitten up by mosquitoes. One, two, three. Like two bites on this leg, one bite on that leg. All right, so I'm kind of back in my space again. I gotta start pulling out clothes. The clothes that I'm gonna need, I'm gonna look at the 10 day forecast and um, see what I'm gonna need over the next whatever, you know? For this foreseeable future um i want to let my dinner settle and then do some singing maybe playing some music um also i'm gonna put some long pants on now it's kind of chilly inside here um but basically just kind of get organized directions to Austin, Texas from here. 12 hours, 7 minutes. So yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood of... Uh, so 10 hours, 40 minutes is how long it took me to get here. Um, so let's see. Austin, Texas. Yeah, we're definitely outside of Nashville here. Um, I'm thinking Austin, maybe this winter. And... Uh, So yeah, it'd be about uh, 12 hours by right now, by the the traffic right at this minute. And it's Sunday after evening, Sunday, 5.45 p.m. So this is going to be light traffic. What route is this? Can you see that? I can't see it now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Huh. Interesting thought. So 12 hours, that's, you know, that's a day. It's a long day, but it's a day. By the way, I'm from here, you know? Sorry, I, uh, I'm from right there. And uh, so basically it's like, you know, come down to here and then down to here. It's like, you know, right now where I am is not exactly in the middle, but it's damn close. So Austin, you know, winter would be the time to go to Texas, right? Winter is a great time to go to Florida in the fall, in the spring, not summer. Fucking hot as fuck. And um, so I'm thinking if I'm going to go, winter would be a good time to go. And um, yeah, I'm wondering if right now, because I'm waiting for this tiny house. The tiny house may not come up till November 26th. I just bought $150 worth of supplies. Fuck. I'm going to stay here, though. I'm going to stay here. Yeah, if I if I go, I need to stay here and make money. I need to start. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start talking to landscaping companies, and I'm going to say I'm new to the area. I'm a, I'm an, a radical artist. I'm not going to say that. What am I going to say? I'm a fine artist. Create beautiful things. And uh, I'm going to send them a link to my website. And l look at what I do. So here I am. Here's my logo. I changed it a little bit to be a little bit bigger. SGDeets.com. So this is a tree life. I made that. I designed it. And we built that. My company. Now this is a uh, ruins that I designed and built. I just got an arrow slit. You know, that was not there. Nothing was there. Uh, reflecting pool. 
you know, of uh, steel rusting urn, water flowing from it. And uh, this is a country style um, entrance to a home. Look at these stones, man. All Corinthian granite. And then this is a fireplace that I actually, look how tight that stonework is. I did this stonework with one of my guys. You know, a lot of Corinthian granite, a lot of blue stone, a lot of different stones. We, um, we took this from a fallen down barn Got some metal works in here too. Here's the metal works. Oh, where are they? Yeah, whatever. And that's a gas fireplace insert inside of a house. So I want to say I want to I want to jazz up this website. I got to work in that. Number one priority: money. If my trip now is going to be successful, money. I got to have money. I mean, I've got, you know, a nice little chunk of change, but not, you know, if something catastrophic happens, you know, I'm, it'll take me down, it could take me down to nothing. So I need some work coming in. So first priority, um, you know, the, the last, I think last night I got uh, six hours of sleep. Um, the night before, the three nights before, I got like five hours of sleep, maybe six one night. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to take a little nap. I don't even feel like I need a nap. I'm going to, um, I got a whole bunch of new pictures. I'm going to get working on the website. I may take a little nap, close my eyes for a few minutes. And um, I got to think got to figure how to make short for put short form content in this too you know in these videos um, so um, all right uh, yeah I got to get the website looking fucking great that's a couple days worth of work it took me I don't know two or three three days easy to get the website looking what it is that's just one there's it's a four part website right now my music my comedy my real life and the landscaping that's just the landscaping i showed you um so i gotta i gotta reconfigure the whole website i don't know how i'm gonna do it Because now I've gone from three channels, no, four channels to one. I have an SG Deets Music, SG Deets Comedy, Deets Life, Deets Works, Music, Comedy, Life, Landscaping. And I'm doing everything SG. It was too much. I couldn't do it on four platforms, YouTube, TikTok, X, and Instagram. I've gone back. I, I I had I went for a, a number of years, two years. Of everything in SGD's music. And now I'm going back to just one. One channel. And I added two more platforms, Facebook and Clapper. Um, so. I'm going to, um, I'm just going to start putting everything out. All I have to do is make money. You know, money, money's freedom. If I have work, I can do whatever I want. And I don't have to work all the time. You know, I can, oh God, I'm sorry to be a dick, but I'm very good at what I do. I can make a lot of money at it and I can probably work like a week a month and pay my bills I'd love to get a whole bunch of work and get like 20 grand 
30 grand in the bank. Oh, that'll be nice. Then when I want to go home to do some landscaping at home, I can fly on a plane. I don't have to do a fucking all day drive. Jesus, you know, get jobs other places, fucking fly. So that's what I want to do in Texas. I want to, I want to establish, oh, I was just looking at frost lines. Here in Tennessee, it's only 6 to 12 inches in Nashville. In Maryland, it gets cold as fuck. It's a 30-inch frost line there. It can freeze to almost 30 inches. I know it can freeze to 24 inches in Maryland. So what that means is a frost line means you put your pipes. If you got a water pipe coming into the house, right? Every house has water pretty much has water. If in Maryland you put it just below the surface, it's going to freeze. In the winter, you won't have water. The reason it doesn't freeze is because it's below the frost line. So we may work year round here, but I, I, you know, I, I want to stay here, but I also want to go to Austin. Austin is a boom town. Nashville, boom town. These two are two of the most booming cities in the country. And um, maybe this is the place. I, you know, I'm going to know in a few weeks. Um, but if I'm going to go to Austin, to Texas, I want to go in the wintertime when it's not fucking insanely hot. So... We'll see. I, I will get as much landscaping work as I work to get. In other words, the more time and effort I put into getting landscaping. And, you know, again, I'm sorry if I sound like a dick. But I want to be a famous landscaper. I want to be famous for, you know, and make millions and millions, billions of dollars with everything, with the music, the comedy, everything. And... I wanted, you know, I'm thinking I can start it with landscaping, creating super gorgeous things for people, making lots of money, being able to invest that money into music or meeting the right people who wanted landscaping, but there are some big wig rich people that know other people for the music. Anything can happen, but I have to be financially secure. got to be my first priority or up there with everything I mean I can still spend evenings going doing open mic music open mic comedy but I've got to get the landscaping going and it starts with redoing the website getting it great that website everything is mine I, I did it all you know um, I don't have help. I'm not paying for help. And I, I've had websites built by other people. It's always a hassle. You know, it's always like a million revisions. You might as well just do the fucking thing yourself. It's easy today. Anybody can do it. You know? And, um... Right, the website. Yeah, I want to... I really... I, I feel inspired to work. On landscaping now that and again I, I'm I'm trying to be honest um, you know for a number of years now with my own relationship I was doing less and less paying work and more and more art music music and mostly then and I was not financially secure I didn't have any money you know, I had somebody else paying the bills. I worked around the house. I did everything. You know, I was the housewife. And we had a, a good and fair deal, I think, you know. Um, but when, and we had, a, we had a relationship where we literally, like, I'm, this is true, I swear to God. 
we had one, one single small to medium-sized argument a year. Can you imagine that? And um, then when just the shit hit the fan, and I'm not going to go into why, um, you know, I, I was fucking no money. No, you know, an old vehicle. I got my Mercedes. That's all I had. Well, I had my truck, but the transmission was going up on it. Sold it. Um, decided not to sell the Mercedes and to invest in it. It's a great car. It's a 40 year old, incredible car. Uh, Mercedes says it's one of the best models they've ever built. Mercedes. Uh, the Daimler-Benz company, the people, whoever invented the internal combustion engine, they invented the car. They were the first car company, I'm sure, must be. They said it's one of the best they ever built, and that, that car will go a million miles. It's got 275 now. So I'm like, I'm going to ride around in style in a classic Benz. I blacked out the windows. I put Christ into a cash mechanic, the equivalent of like literally like eight, ten thousand dollars into it. I put about three thirty five hundred into it in mechanic and parts, and um, did everything I could to make it great. You know, something that, you know, car is your biggest investment. Mine, on, I'm a nomad now. I don't have a home. This place is my home. You know, this is the closest thing to my home right now. My feet up on the... And, um, you know, you got to have reserve money for when something... It's inevitable. Something's going to happen to your vehicle. You know, unless you have a brand new vehicle. And then you're fucking paying a lot of money every month for that. So, you know, I've never had a new car. I've never had... You know, I've always, like literally every single time, bought a car or a truck that I paid cash for. Pretty much. I mean, I got one loan for one truck in 2002, 22 years ago. I don't think I've had a car loan since. I think I had one before that too. Probably had two car loans my whole life. And, um... But now, I have uh, I have very few debts. Uh, no, no, very few payments per month on anything. I have, um, you know, cell phone. I'm paying the Wi-Fi for my girlfriend, her house. She, she's keeping a couple things there for me. I'm paying like forty-eight dollars a month. Um. Photoshop, it's like $48 a month at $24 a month. A um, couple little things, that's it. Car insurance. I think my phone bill is $40 a month. Either my phone's $40 and the cable's $48 or, either, or the other way around. <coughs> what else do I have? You know, my car insurance is whatever, a hundred bucks a month. Is it a hundred a month? I have full coverage. I got full coverage since I was move, you know, going to be driving all over the fucking place, and I invested a lot of money in the car. Twelve hundred a year, Christ, that's a lot for car insurance. Is it worth it? I could have half of that. So the problem is I've been I'll be driving in the cities. And I don't want somebody if somebody steals the car. Oh god. So like if somebody did steal the car, you know, I wonder how much they would give me for it. Is it worth it to have full insurance? for a 40-year-old car. So 
Fucking twelve hundred dollars a year. I mean, they probably give me like twenty five hundred or three, like two years worth. I gotta think about that. I'd like to know what number they would give me for it, you know. I asked them, I said, you know, I asked, I said, and um, they said, well, it depends on the condition of the car. And if you can prove that you did work to it. And I, of course, I have the cash mechanic. I need an app. Then I'm going to get up and make my fucking website look great. Yeah, that's it. You know, I got to do that. I got to fucking build just a great goddamn fucking website. And dazzle these landscaping companies in this area. And it'll blow them away. Then I'll get work. Then I have freedom. If I have work. And if I have money. Alright, so I got a <clears throat> Baltimore... Raven's um, hoodie on and uh, take a nap. I set a timer for about, um, I don't know, maybe an hour. Maybe I'm really gonna just chill. I, I, I don't take naps well. I don't take them, I pretty much never ever fall asleep in the daytime. I'm just gonna close my eyes and try and, you know, just try and, you know, get some relaxing. Like yesterday on the drive, I'm, I, my eyes were closing because I had three nights of, you know, six and five hours. And I need eight hours every night to really feel healthy. I, it was an incredible day because I thought of like four original songs that are like awesome. I love them because my mind was in a, a different state, like a kind of a, you know, when you get tired, your brain changes. When you're a deep down tired, like your body is a deep down tired. And, uh, my, you know, I thought of music that's dark, moody, moving, ha hard, harsh ish, I guess. And, uh, all right, well, I'm going to take a little nap. I'll see you later. All right, so I'm starting to, I just pulled all the clothes out of there, put them over there. Now I got to pull everything out. I have three um, shelves. Huh. Not going to take much over there. And then I have some closet space. Um, that's the other room over there. Um, so I'm going to pull everything out of here. And then, uh,
Here's the current state of things. I'm gonna put my clothes I, I plugged in here. Hopefully it's not gonna look terrible. It's only for a few uh, eleven more days or so. Got the guitars up. One guitar uh, uh, laying down. Got all my clothes out here from the totes. And now I gotta go through, and I, I'm just kind of crazy. I have so many fucking clothes still. It's like way more than I need. So I gotta go through everything. And I don't know. Figure out what I'm doing. Whatever. I mean, start getting rid of stuff. Also going to, you know, put some here that I'm thinking I'm gonna use now. And then put others away. Put it over here. And there's three piles that use now, keep for later, and I'm just never going to use them. No, I just, uh, the, all these clothes I brought, because I like them, I want them. But it's just too many clothes. I have way more than I need. And... I have to figure out the temperature, the, the climate here. And if I do go to Austin, Texas, I need to be prepared with clothes. So. <sighs> Glad I brought my flip-flops, man. Warm today. It's going to be in the 80s. The, a lot of the 10-day forecast. I, I think I took a screenshot. It's like upper 70s, low 80s. It's fucking going to be beautiful. Be nice shorts and flip flop weather still. So I think a lot of the winter here is going to be not nearly as cold as Maryland, and that's where I'm all about, man. I brought a snow scraper. I brought my heavy, the stuff that I wear when it is fucking cold as fuck in Maryland. I'm hoping I don't need that shit, because you know that'd be great. That'd be fucking great. Right, so I've got, you know, my, my show boots. And I've got some very nice clothes here. You know, um, show clothes. So I just took out my contacts. Um, Sunday night. I always do it Sunday night. Today's the 20th of October, I think. My birthday's in like three weeks. You know, a little less than two and a half weeks, I'll be 56 years old. So I'm sitting here thinking, when I go to these open mics, am I going to wear this kind of shit? Billabong? Or am I going to dress for success? So do I put the clothes away? Or do I, you know, I don't know, I'm trying to plan what clothes to put where. I don't, you know, I don't, I need to figure out how much space on the shelves. Like, you know, when I start putting my shit there, like how much room am I going to have for everything? I guess I'll put my show clothes put all my show clothes in that clear one yeah that's what i'm gonna do then i'll have them if i decide to wear them okay so when i tried to do this last time i failed miserably but i did it the time before changing my address so when i say to google navigate home it's here it doesn't try and take me to an old address. So I'm going to try and do it again. Wish me luck. Alright. Got everything set up. Got, found the plug over there for the laptop. 
And basically, yeah, I'm tucked in there. That's not my guitar clothes. I'm using this as a, you know, my dirty, my once worn, twice worn clothes. My towel, got the guitars up. Everything's set up. Put this puppy here. Got the, um, whatchamajigger there. Got all my stuff in here. Stuff stashed under the bed, like guitar cases. And, uh, here, let me find a better angle for that. That still doesn't cut it. I gotta fool around with it. Got the three electric guitars, bass, and five string bass. So I can, you know, my tiny mind, I think, anyway, can play anything I, that I need to play on a four or a five string with that. Got my Strat I got a seven string agile. My Strat has a DeMarzio Super Fuzzy. So it's got everything. You know, it's got the grunt and you know the uh the clean of a strat. Here's my space. It's um for now. For the next 11 days, is going to be where I'm inhabiting until November 1st. Then a room is coming vacant here. Then the, apparently, approximately the 26th of November, a tiny house is coming vacant. And then of my own house, hopefully, if everything works out. Okay, I um, just picked up my acoustic and... For the life of me, one of my songs, I don't have my papers here, and my um, studio engineer who helped me with my song, which is not finished, um, Come On Home. It goes down, 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 down. is the chorus so I need to fucking figure this out man I need to play it by ear and I cannot fucking do it I've been working at least 15 minutes on this fucking goddamn thing alright here we go I'm gonna just struggle along with you alright um that's gonna be the uh So here we go. Let's see if that's this. No. No. I think it's E though. I think it's G. G is in there. Down, down. Let me see. Like, darling, please use me.
I just have? I don't remember. Down, 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 down. Do this shit. No, C is in the chorus. I say it down on the mini snare. So down on the mini snare. Down. Something like that. So, on this guitar, if I'm only playing hand, I need to learn the finger pick. So, what I'm going to do is, I, first I wanted to figure that chord progression out, and then... I wanted to work on this song and picking it and learning to pick and figuring it out, you know? It's how I learn is the hard way, learning by myself. The hard way. It's the fucking hard way. But you got to do it. I think I have to do it. I think that's 
that's it. Sounds nice. So, now I gotta start putting that to um, arpeggios. That goes. some of that and this is hard on the brain like this is really hard I want to quit I want to just stop playing because it's hurting my brain it's like an unpleasant feel in your brain I'm just going to keep, you know, fucking around with it. Fuck around, find out. And uh, it's like 1130, I think. 
And I'm, I've got plenty of energy. I took a nap. I laid down for probably an hour and a half. The whole time I was fucking on the phone messaging people. I mean, I got probably 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 maybe a little more of rest. So, but yeah, I'm just going to play. Go to sleep. Get as much sleep as I can. Play a little bass. So I just plugged in the, uh, my, it's a boom, but a karaoke machine and the bass. I'm like, it'd be nice to have some, this light over here, over there. All right. She's plugged in. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. Let me see. Hmm. Nice. Might just be able to keep them on and not this. Nice. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. It's nice. So I gotta just kind of fuck with these a little bit. All the fucking light I need. All right, I got the bass guitar ready. All right, so my guitar amp is gonna be the. Uh, it's gonna be the uh, uh, tripod. All right, let's see what happens. turn you off while I tune this right. You know what I mean? Feel me? Alright, so now I'm gonna play around with um see I'm just fucking around tonight. Um I gotta pull the bass all the way down, I guess. Treble all the way up, guitar volume. Let's see what happens. I mean the bass and the treble. This song I'm working on. It's from Drop It Like It's Hot from Pharrell and Snoop. And it, my ver, my bass line for that, you know, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When the pigs try to get at you, drop it like it's hot, drop it like, yeah, that song. And uh, I have a bass line, which I can't play, but it goes, Snoop to work on this new song with me. If anybody can get to them, if they like this, Let's see the volume. Let's see what happens. With the so there's a guitar volume. So right now I just have the treble and the bass turned all the way up. It's just a karaoke machine. It's not a bass amp.
myself. You know, the... Uh, Um, six foot dick, the bass line, and the guitar riff. It's all on one string. The entire song is on one string. Those three parts right there are the entire song, pretty much. All right. Um, yeah. So I got a I got a bass amp that works. It's a karaoke machine, as long as you can plug it in. It's got a battery, but it's, uh, you know, it's a, uh, the battery's dead. I let it sit for six months or something like that, and it died. But it works when you fucking plug it in, so I brought it with me. to get two fingers. I keep doing one finger. I don't have a coach. I don't have anybody to guide me. So, yeah, it was um, 10 of 12 when I checked the last time. 11.49. It's not 11.30. So, it's after midnight now. Just want to make sure everything's, you know, made the trip over and it's working. And it is. So, you know, I'm going to, um, and I think this is perfectly fine for just a, it's just a clean bass. You know, the sound, basically, that is coming out of this guitar is playing over there. And I can drop this to a uh, drop A. You know, just do it. I don't see why not. This puppy is going to be in drop A. I don't play anything on this. The fifth string that's not in at all, except for drop A.
that song was. song I'm going to be able to do live now I can sing it I'm not sure if the vocal melody in the chorus doesn't need some work and my voice is not warmed up right now I can't play it but I think I could sing it and probably play the bass guitar see I think I in live concerts I think if I really fucking practiced my ass off I could play my songs and sing them at the same time. So I'd have to start doing that, you know, like now. But, um, yeah. So, all right, well, I think that's, I gotta fucking go to bed. I'm not tired now. I lay down for a while, got some good rest. Now I'm not tired. I'm gonna play on the computer, do some things. Let me see if this um, makes a screeching sound at a karaoke machine if I pull this out. Ready? No. Hmm. So, like a... Whoa. Yeah, that's not good. I, I need to turn it off. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. And then pull the... Uh, I'll just leave it in there, actually. There's no reason to not just toss this over. I mean, it's going to go in the guitar amp, too, at some point. I'm just going to use cables till I get set up in a room and can really set my whole, set everything up. We're going to Nashville. You ready? You and me. Start right here, right in Baltimore, Maryland. This is Harford Road, heading down to the Baltimore Beltway. My navigation said this is Tennessee. That was Kingston, I think. Let's see which um, which exits this is. Kingsport in Bristol, yeah. So, you know, got the sunroof open, windows open, and uh, just cruising along, man. We got another four hours to go before we hit Nashville. So, got my laptop in my lap, and I'm kind of looking over, man, and it's kind of like feeling like home, you know? It's feeling homey, cozy, you know? It's my bad. It's um, 1.42 a.m. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm just doing a couple things on the computer. There's always shit that needs to be done. And um, it's time to go to bed. Like, I'm up way too late. This is my link tree. I think I got it looking pretty good. Um... Got uh, YouTube looking good, I think. I think I got everything looking good. I'm ready to launch. And now, I'm ready to go to bed. Well, here I am in bed. Got my hoodie. I like sleeping with my hoodie. And especially, you know, on my head. Like this. And, uh... That's it. 
Good night. It's uh, almost two o'clock. Time to hit the hay. Hit the hay. It's still around, that saying. It's got to be just hundreds of years old. Back when people used to sleep on hay. How long ago was it? You know, when were... When did... You know, probably America. We invented everything. I mean, almost every single thing. When did we invent, you know, the modern mattress? It's a good question. If you know, let me know. Let us all know. And uh, with that, I bid you... Good night. Uh, sorry. Uh, I know you can't see anything. It's um, not quite one o'clock. Yeah, that's good to know. I thought it was one fucking forty-two. In that last video, it just said o o five five. I don't know. I'll double check, but I'd much rather it be not quite. Oh, my computer. The computer was, is not, it didn't update the time. The fucking computer. My phone knows what time. I didn't think it was that late. Jesus. Yeah, it's my phone. All right, good night. Oh, Blake's my first stop uh, in Tennessee. I think ever. Let's go. Ready? We're going to get half and half sugar coffee for the morning. Stop sign. Publix. Yeah, baby. All right, we're gonna go shop. You coming with me? My first car, right there. Here, okay, I got crap, creamer, uh, half and a half. So, very first uh, time in Publix, this stop, and my very first stop in Nashville, Tennessee.